Sure, sure. Let's talk about how you eventually got, you started with the Yankees in 1928. How did you get to the Yankees? Well, I was going to Little Rock College. In fact, I was in last, they had a high school too. And I was in the last grade of high school and we had a little baseball team out there. I was a pitcher and Jimmy Foley was a catcher and every Sunday he'd catch for Bruce Lumber Company. Yes. And uh, no, every Sunday he'd go to Hot Springs and catch. And Bruce Lumber Company offered him a little more money to catch for them. So he asked me to go catch for him at Hot Springs so he could make a little more money. Yes. And I went over there. I was uh, at this turn 17. I told him, I said, well, Jim, I can't catch him. Set the pro ball too fast. He says, oh, you'll do all right. So I went over there, and I caught three or four ball games. And, uh, the Travelers here at Little Rock signed. Yes. And, uh, and I was with them, and then they sold me to the Yankees. And, and, the, I got started. and the Travelers, Mr. Dickey, was a minor league team. Yeah. And the, Class double-A baseball team. Double-A baseball. See, they had a bunch of minor leagues back in those days. Yes. Yes. And did a, who saw you? Did a scout from the Yankees see you? Who said, that Bill Dickey's good, let's put him on the Yankees? Well, uh, Johnny Me was the fellow that scouted me. I was in Jackson, Mississippi. That was class D ball. Yes. And the Yankees fought, fought me from Little Rock. I see. I see. Now, when you first got to the Yankees, would your manager have been Miller Huggins? manager was Miller Huggins. Tell me what kind of a manager you found, Mr. Huggins. Well, he was a great little fellow. I didn't get to play for him very long. You know, he died in 1929. Yes. And uh, Hug, uh, I liked him because he liked me. Yes. And uh, gave me a good time and attention. I remember one day I was out swinging. I wasn't hitting very good. I was popping the ball up. I was trying to hit it as far as Bruce and Jim. <laughs> He called me over and took me over and we sit down. There was a terrace out there. He said, he said, I want to talk to you about it. And he picked up a bat. He picked up Earl Combs' bat. Yes. It uh, didn't have a knob on it. He said, I want you to try this bat. It's got a little bigger hand. I want you to choke it up and I want you to try to hit the ball to all fields and hit line drive. And uh, he said, I think you're trying to hit the ball as far as Ruth and Gary. And I said, I sure am. <laughs> he said, well, you'll never hit the ball as far as Lou. He said, and Lou, as long as you live. Yes. So uh, I took his advice and started doing what he told me, and it really improved my status. Yes, yes. D did you find Miller Huggins an inspiring manager, Mr. Dickey? Well, Hug was awfully quiet, but you had to respect him. He run his ball club real good, and he had respect for the whole team. Yes.